Okay, I'm gonna make a video to try to demonstrate this problem I'm having um, so that, um, you know, maybe you can better understand what's going on. I, I don't know if I'm always explaining it well. Okay, so I can already tell that I'm not getting, and I know the battery has juice. I, I have that thing right there, the meter, multimeter, and I can test the battery and it works fine. But I can look here at the gas detector. There's no light on it, I'm getting absolutely no power at all. But I can check the battery up here and, uh, and know that I got power. The battery's got over 12 volts, 13 something volts in it. Here's the new charger thing that I installed. Uh, arrived today. I know it's connected properly. It was pretty simple to do. Uh, it's unplugged right now. Uh, but that's because I was testing to see what would happen. Okay, well, let's, let's plug it in. Let's plug it in, see if, see if it makes a difference. So it's plugged in now. I look at the charger, I mean the um, um, detector here, no light. So we have no power. So now I'm going to go up here. And I'm going to, um, okay, let's press the battery thing. And oh, the lights are very dim, but they say I got three quarters of a battery charge. I'm gonna turn on the water pump. Okay, we got a light, but I don't hear anything. Run the water. And, oh, the pump kicked in, good. So that means that I now have power over here. Look, we can go to our LP detector. We have a green light now, right? Okay, I can go, I can turn on a light now. But I'm telling you, a light would not have come on a minute ago, okay? So that's an example of putting a load. Now, it used to be I had to put a load on the generator, uh, and that's probably still the case. Um, the refrigerator's off, okay? Here's a battery. Battery's brand new. This uh, thing here is brand new. Um, excuse me, but I'm really frustrated, okay? So here's the generator. Now, I can try to start the generator now, and it won't start. Uh, in fact, it won't turn over. It's gonna, well, let's try it. Yeah, it says that the battery doesn't have enough juice. That's, you know, it's, it's, and, but I can test the battery and it'll have over 13 volts. And as a matter of fact, let's do that. Let's do that. Let me get this voltmeter. Oh, by the way, if I put the voltmeter on this thing, it shows four volts. Unless the generator is running, then it shows 14 something. But it shows four volts, and I'm thinking that thing would be connected directly to the. Um, it's probably going to be hard for me to do this because I only got two hands. So here's the positive. I don't know how I'm going to get it to stay on here, and I'm going to put it over here. On, okay. Well, it's saying I got 10 volts. So uh, I had 13 earlier. Uh, and and I haven't run anything, so something may be draining the battery. But let me go ahead and start the start the start the engine, so that I can start the generator. So we start the generator. Okay, it's running. Got power. Well, it's kind of sputting. There we go. Got power. Uh oh, actually, you hear it? It, it, it's starting to rev. I don't know if you can hear it, but it's kind of revving strangely. It's just, all right, there it goes. Very loud now. Nope, all right, it's about to blow. So I tried to turn it off. I mean, it was running full throttle like just now. Now, if I unplug, I'm gonna unplug the charger converter. Now, the thing is, is that this is the new charger converter. I thought that it was the charger converter that was the problem. So I'm gonna unplug, <coughs> unplug it. Because the old one, all I had to do was unplug it, and I was still, I was good. Okay, so now we still got power flowing um, to the, uh, I can turn on the light. I probably should I still have a light. In fact, the engine's still running, so let me turn the engine off. Well, let me go ahead and start up the generator again. Okay, generator's running now. Fine, I'm going to turn off the engine. Generator's running. We got power now. microwave in fact I'm gonna turn on the water heater well I'm not gonna do anything different so let's see if it if it if it revs up it's running nice and smooth now I'm gonna go ahead and 
go back over here, climb over all this stuff, and I'm gonna plug in the charger converter. Okay, plugged it in. I heard a, a little something from the generator revved up a little bit. Actually, I can tell when it's gonna start revving up. It first starts fluctuating. Seems to be running pretty smooth at the moment, which is not uncommon. It will do this. That's the strange thing about it. Sometimes it works fine, but here recently, in most cases it don't. Okay, so now the new development the latest development is after putting in the new charger converter as soon as I turn off the generator all power goes out so I'm gonna turn on this light here this light is on all right now I'm gonna turn off the generator and I'm gonna see if the um, the lights go off like they did before so I'm turn that off that red light might go off too so it's not consistent so let's look at the light so the lights are still on hmm well as you saw this this is what's so strange about it this, this is what I mean it's very strange okay let's see if it'll start back up start it back up let's see how much juice we got in the battery of course the charger converter is running now now it's showing 12 pretty sure that the problem is not with the battery especially considering you know this is a brand new battery it's you know 615 as you can see right there bought it went right after I bought the coach um, I don't know I don't know I, I anyway I'm making this video hoping somebody can you saw the original issue when I came in here you saw me have to turn on so I put a load on this thing to, to get some juice through the uh, through the unit I don't know what to think. I am at a... Alright, so let's turn it off again. Generator's off. Lights are still working. Um, how did... What made them go off before? Well, anyway, I still got a problem. You heard them rev up. You saw the initial problem. Has anybody seen this before? Please let me know. 